So last year I answered one question on the community and this uh, question was uh, really interesting. For some reason I missed making a video on this topic. I really wanted to but uh, it didn't happen. But today I was doing something with uh, Jira like always and uh, I had to do the same thing so I thought I'll probably share it with all of you and uh, hopefully you will also like this. Now this question is uh, all about uh, how to find uh, which issue fields are text types. Now basically this uh, this this user is asking about the field type but the question if you if you look at the question the question actually talks about uh, jql now when you are in jira when you are in jira and you are trying to use uh, different fields and you are trying to build your query you have the option to get autocomplete in your uh, jql now based on the uh, suggestions from the autocomplete you can build your query quite easily for example if you are trying to do if you're trying to include let us say a text field you will get the list of uh, supported operators which i believe is really important because you you can't possibly know each and everything by heart uh, and that is the purpose of this issue navigator for example if you have a search field like maybe i think analysis is the search field if you want to use it in your query you can uh, start using it and if you press space you get some uh, suggestions now for this particular field the supported operator the list of supported operators is uh, this tilde or not equal to tilde is not and is so you can use them if you want if you are let us say using some other field maybe you have uh, for example what else so let us take a look at maybe active checklist item i, I don't know huh, the field type but if you press space you get the possible operators now this is really important because uh, when you are building this query yourself in the issue navigator the autocomplete will really help but what if you are trying to generate or build this query not in jira maybe somewhere else and maybe you are doing it maybe in your own language and you have to do it on fly you know the fields you know what you want to search for but you want to basically make sure that your query that you are building is using the right uh, operator fortunately there is a way of doing it if you want you can basically use this endpoint called rest api latest jql autocomplete so i i have already responded i did respond to this particular question last year and uh, using this endpoint rest api 2 or 3 whatever the number is slash jql slash autocomplete you can uh, find this information for example if you look at uh, uh, for example something like account now account is one field which uh, will only support uh, these four operators you can of course validate this if you go to your uh, issue navigator if you press space you will get these four operators which is uh, something that you can see here in the in the json response if you're using something like maybe uh, let us try to use affected version which is quite obvious let us try to use a custom field so maybe something like uh, what else i think i can use maybe baseline end date i guess because uh, because why not so let us try to use baseline end date and if you press space you get equal to not equal to less than equal to greater than equal to and so on so basically you have uh, the same list that you should be able to to get uh, when you are basically are the operators that you have um, and, and this will really help you because uh, if you are trying to do something uh, with jql you need to know these operators you need to know the type of this particular field and uh, this is something quite uh, simple easy but not many people probably are using it so i thought i'll probably make a video on this topic i wanted to make this video as i mentioned last year but again i forgot i uh, really i really want to apologize if you had to do something similar manually now you can do it using rest api of course uh, this information is something that you have to use as a reference you still have to 
make sure that you pass the json properly and you you are using it uh, in the right way in your uh, in your maybe code or, or whatever you are doing maybe uh, the good thing is that you have this information that uh, will help you in making a proper query that makes it a valid jql so that is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much